All right, so now we're looking at an anterior view of her pelvis with ligaments attached here. So if we look over here at the right side, we can see coming from the ASIS down to the pubic tubercle, we have the inguinal ligament. And if we then tilt the pelvis so we're looking at a more inferior point of view, we can see that coming up from the hip bone, there's a structure here that comes up to the middle of the inguinal ligament. That's the iliopectineal arch. So it's connective tissue, ligamentous material that comes up to the inguinal ligament. Now what that does is it divides this whole cavity here, which is the retro inguinal space, <coughs> into two compartments. So medially, we have a vascular compartment, and laterally, we have a muscular compartment. So in the vascular compartment will be the femoral artery and vein, in the muscular compartment will be iliopsoas and the femoral nerve. Now then at the medial end of the inguinal ligament, see these fibres here that are running in a slightly different direction. They're kind of coming from the ligament and heading directly inferiorly to the bone. These fibres here, they are the lacuna ligament. Now on the specimens and this model, you can definitely differentiate them from the inguinal ligament, okay? So make sure you have a close look for that. So we've got inguinal ligament, iliopectineal arch, lacuna ligament, muscular compartment, sorry, vascular compartment, deliberate mistake, and then muscular compartment here laterally. And those are both parts of the retroinguinal space, which is the whole thing. Just here on the medial aspect of the vascular compartment too, that bit there in a, on a specimen will be a space, 